Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I am coming here right off the bat, no makeup, no eyebrows whatsoever, which is usually something I don't do because you guys always know I come on with my eyebrows done. Today I'm going to be taking part in the I Try Following Blanks makeup tutorial, but I'm going to do it a little differently and I'm going to be following Made You Look by Lex. Um, one of her face painting tutorials since she is the person who got me into face and body painting and if you guys can't tell from the background here I'm obsessed with skulls and like Harley Quinn and Joker so I decided to do her Harley Skellington video and try to recreate that plus I had this really crappy wig from Walmart which was like five bucks I think cheaply made wig and it just feels like plastic and I'm actually filming this the day before her birthday so I hope I can get it up and edited in time for tomorrow. I've got some body paint and SFX stuff in here and if you want to see how I get this Harley Skellington look following Lex's video then just keep on watching. Man, I love being a villain. Good evening. Villains are always better. Starting off by painting my face white. As well as any of the area that's going to be having orange eyeshadow. Oh, eyeshadow primer. Wait, I need to get my lips. One sec. And this actually isn't like my favorite primer at all, but you know, whatever. This is Lex's video, not mine. It'll take off some of your face paint, so be expecting it to look a little ugly. Eyeshadow diamonds around my eyes and blending out the edges using white eyeshadow. So, she does the diamonds. We're gonna, I think, have a bottom of it right here. I think she pretty much just goes from the inner corner to the outer corner of the eye. I feel like that helps give you the right shape and try to keep it symmetrical. Look at me trying to like justify what she's doing when I have no idea. Mine seems so much bigger than hers! I think I brought it in too far. I think that's better. We're going with that before I mess it up even more. She tight lines. She calls it a lexicist. Wing out her eyeliner. The wing section, I'm actually using my own line of eyeliner. And my eyeliner decided to do its own thing and not want to cooperate, and now it's like a blob. This video is turning out great! And I opened my eyes and I got eyeliner in the thing. God dang. Like Bob Ross says, there's no mistakes, just happy accidents. And we're gonna stick with that because I don't want to take all this off just to fix the black eyeliner smudge. So Now she's using a really small detailed brush to do her eyebrows. And this scares me because I always use an angled brush for my brows. And we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, I a detail brush and then filling in my eyebrows using black body paint as well. This is the worst my brows have ever looked. Next step. Paint as well as adding the detail around my eyes, also using black body paint. You can also use eyeliner for this step instead of body paint, in case your eyes water. Triangles. More triangles. I'm gonna hate triangles after this. So we're using that tiny brow paint brush and we're gonna do some triangles. The 
This part's a lot more stressful because if you mess up black, you just you just mess up. Lex, how do you? Yeah, her triangles are tiny. A video without making a mistake? No! Now at first I was just gonna do pumpkins around the edges, but I like bats. So I applied both pumpkins and bats. Pumpkins and bats. Pumpkin's not as hard because as long as you get a general shape of a pumpkin, you'll be okay, I think. That's here. Body paint. Okay, guys, this is like the most intense thing I've ever done. Triangle. I don't know how she's so precise and like so perfect at this. Like, gosh dang. We got a jack-o-lantern. So good at this. Guys, these eyes are so uneven. Your lips using black lipstick and draw out Jack's mouth using body paint. Realistically, for the entire face of this look, you could actually use regular cosmetics instead of using body paint. Just an option. All right, so now on to the body. I do have a tube top on, so I'm not naked. Like. To create Harley's collar, I'm going in using white body paint and then drawing in pumpkins instead of little poofs. Stencils for circles, so I'm not either, even though I probably should. Oh no! It's dripping! Can you see my struggle trying this here? Alright, so I just put my camera down a little bit so my foot isn't gonna fall asleep trying this. And let's continue. I think this is close to dry. I don't know why this orange got so dark. Like, do you see the difference from the orange pumpkins on my face? So triangles after this, guys. Yeah. I sometimes think I feel like I have more talent than I actually do. The jacket is a little tedious. The easiest right. way to tedious. It is to apply white body paint and thinner stripes first and then fill everything else in using black body paint. You can then go in with smaller brushes and detail if you'd like as well as outline around Harley's collar. Just to add a little shading, I'm using gray eyeshadow. Gray eyeshadow. Collar and then going in with black eyeshadow underneath the collar to make it look a little more three-dimensional. And to finish up, and to finish up, I'm painting. We're done. Orange and the other half black. Orange and the other half black. And we're gonna see how that goes because this wig is horrible. Oh my god. I don't have a baseball bat though. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below as well as go check out Lex's channel if you haven't already, which I mean, you all probably have, especially if you look up any video for Halloween because she face paints, body paints, everything. But yeah, this is my recreation of her Harley Skellington video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me fail. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.